Hi friends, today we are going to learn about the coordinate geometry. In coordinate geometry, we basically learn the positions, uh, means to locate the positions of different different objects or points in a plane, right? And to locate uh, the point or the position of uh, any objects in a plane, we need the two perpendicular lines, right? So let me draw the two perpendicular lines, right? Suppose this is my vertical line, right? And this is my horizontal line this horizontal line is known as the x axis right it is known as x axis and this is represented as x and this is x dash and the horizontal line is known as the y axis right and this is known as y and this is y dash and the intersecting point of these two lines this point is known as the origin or zero right it's called origin fine now uh, when two uh, two lines intersect each other there is a formation of four quadrants right this is called first quadrant right first quadrant this is second quadrant this is third quadrant and this one fourth quadrant okay now uh, when you see this in a graph right it is like this giving the numbers right equal th these these all are the equal intersections right? e equal parts right like this you'll see in the graph here will be written some one two three four five six and here also one two three four five six like this and uh, let me tell you uh, changing the color right so from this part see from this x part this is the origin right from origin if you move in the right side right this is known as the x coordinate coordinate and this is always positive you know x coordinate in the right side of the origin is always positive and in the left side of the origin x is always x coordinate is always negative okay x is always negative in the same way if you move uh, let me change color it will be more better mm, this one fine if you move from origin upside right y will be always positive right and if you move downstairs then the y coordinate will be always negative okay so what can we conclude now that in the first quadrant x is positive right but y is also positive yeah so x and y both are positive in the first quadrant and in second quadrant if you move here so x is negative but you are moving upward that's why y is positive so in second quadrant x is negative but y is positive right so in third quadrant you are moving this side that's why x is negative right in left side x is negative and you are moving downstairs right uh, around the bottom so that's why the y is negative so in third quadrant x as well as y both are negative right and in fourth quadrant you're moving this side so x is positive but y is negative because you're moving down steer, right so like this so first quadrant means first quadrant is positive positive and second quadrant x is negative but y is positive in third quadrant x as well as y both are negative and in fourth quadrant the last quadrant x is positive but y is negative okay and uh, I think you know about the other pair right what is other pair x and y you know uh, representation of two points here yeah. x represents the x coordinate and y represents the y coordinate or you can say x represents the x part along the x axis maybe left side or right side y represents the uh, coordinate of y along the y axis either positive or maybe negative okay so by giving the ordered pairs you know like this uh, in the two form right this uh, we represents the position of particular point in this plane and this plane is known as actually the Cartesian plane Cartesian plane right x-axis y-axis and these all quadrants this th this this plane is known as the Cartesian plane and we have to locate the point uh, or positions of different things in a Cartesian plane okay so now we are learning this okay so see ya this is our graph right and in this graph we have to locate the different different points okay uh, suppose uh, let me check here 4 and 5 
so 4 and 5 here 4 represents the x part and y represents the y part it means 4 represents x coordinate so let me go 4 it's positive 4 so I have to move in right side so first second third fourth this is fourth and along the y part we have to move upward 5 right so 4 and 5 so 1 2 3 4 5 means this positions right uh, this point has 4 5 coordinate means 4 5 coordinate means this point this is the location of this point suppose let me give this name a okay uh, let me write in another one minus 2 and 4 suppose okay so minus 2 means along x axis it is minus 2 and along y axis it is positive 4 right so negative 2 along x axis 1 2 right and along y axis positive 4 1 2 3 4 let me give this name p okay so b is minus 2 for this is the position of this point right uh, let me give another one uh, that's minus 3 minus 5 so along positive uh, sorry along x axis this is negative 3 and along y axis also it is negative 5 so 1 2 3 minus 3 and again minus 5 1 2 3 4 5 so this is the position of minus 3 minus 5 right like this we have to locate and suppose uh, already the points are given suppose these and these these all are points already given so how to uh, represent them okay so this point let's uh, let's see along the x-axis how much it is along the x-axis it is 1 2 right so let me write 2 first and along y-axis this is 1 2 3 right vertically just go here 3 so 3 the position of this point is 2 3 and what is the position of this uh, this is suppose P point this is Q point and this is T point okay uh, fine so what is the position of this Q so along X axis it is minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 so negative 5 along X axis and along Y axis 1 2 3 it's positive 3 so minus 5 3 is the position of point Q and the position of T right so let me do with the black color itself okay so along x-axis it is 3 right so let me write 3 and along y-axis this is negative 3 so 3 minus 3 this is the position of the point so like this we have to locate a particular point in this uh, coordinate uh, uh, or you can say in this Cartesian plane okay so in next video we'll be deeply learning about this chapter okay deeply learning about this uh, how to locate the points or position of different different objects okay uh, so we'll be meeting in next video. Bye-bye.